Hey everybody, hello, good afternoon and welcome back to our channel Info Island and also welcoming you guys to our daily current affairs video where we bring you the latest news from all around the corners of the world. So guys, in today's segment, what are we going to do is we are going to cover the current affairs related to the government schemes of India and different states of India. We will be covering all of those government schemes that have been recently launched by the Indian government for the welfare of the society and therefore our nation. So guys, as you are aware, it's 13th of July today and we have gathered all the important current affairs and events and uh, the news that is related to the government schemes. We have covered all that into this particular video of today's current affairs and yes whatsoever uh, was there in the highlight recently and uh, made it a mark and yes made it to today's update we have covered that up in today's video as you guys are aware i'm your host and your dost jyoti and yes today we will be discussing the top news stories related to these government schemes in this particular video so without wasting any more time let's quickly get into the video and look for those top 10 questions that have that uh, you know importance related to the government scheme so yes let's quickly move into the video and yes i am definitely sure that these questions are definitely going to help you in your daily preparation of the government exams as uh, be it any competitive exam like be it UPSC, SSC, Bank, PO or whatsoever, there are 100% chances that you are going to, uh, you know, come across some of the questions related to the government schemes. So let's begin. Firstly, as uh, like uh, always, firstly, we will be discussing the questions related to these government schemes and further mo moving into the video we will be sharing the answers with you so that by the time we we share the answers with you you are in a position to realize whether or not do you know the answers of these questions do you possess the knowledge of these government schemes or not so just in order to you know gain that uh, knowledge gain that better understanding we have uh, shared the questions first and the answers in the end of the video so yes let's quickly move into the video and look for the question number one so first up we have the un that is united nation deputy secretary general commended india's efforts regarding which of the following portal and your options are option a coven portal Option B, SDG India Index Dashboard. Option C, DG Locker. Or is it the option D, that is UIDAI Portal. So yes, I hope you guys have guessed the correct answer. And that's okay, even if you do not know the answer, we are going to share that with you ultimately. But even if you do not know, just uh, take a wild shot and, uh, you know, guess a particular option. And uh, by the time, let's move to the next question. Question number two. Which of the following is the venue of NHA's first hackathon under Ayushman Bharat Digital Mission, that is ABDM hackathon? And your options are option A, New Delhi, option B, Pune, option C, Hyderabad, or is it the option D, that is Bengaluru. Time for our next question, that is question number three. Which of the following states celebrated happiness utsa? in order to mark the fourth anniversary of its happiness curriculum and your options are option a madhya pradesh option b new delhi 
option C, Goa? Or is it the option D, that is Tamil Nadu? So by the time you are guessing the correct answer, let's move to the next question. That is question number four. Which of the following Indian state is the first to, to, to launch breakfast scheme for students of government schools? And your options are option A, Kerala. Option B, Tamil Nadu. Option C, Karnataka. Or is it the option D, Rajasthan? Moving to the next question, question number five. As per NHA's recent announcement, COVID app is repurposed for which of the following program? And your options are option A, Pradhan Mantri Matra Vandana Yojana. Option B, Pradhan Mantri Swasthe Suraksha Yojana. Option C. Pradhan Mantri Surakshit Matritva Abhiyan. Or is it the option D that is Universal Immunization Program? Moving to the next question. Question number six, which of the following union ministry implements the one district, one product that is ODOP in short scheme? And your options are option A, Ministry of MSME, option B, Ministry of Commerce and Industry, Option C, Ministry of Home Affairs. Or is it the option D, Ministry of Finance? Moving to the next question, that is question number seven. Parvez, or you can say P-A-R-V-A-Z, which was seen in the news recently is a market linkage scheme implemented in which of the following state or union territory? And your options are option A, Assam, option B, Jammu and Kashmir, option C, Uttarakhand, or is it the option D, Odisha? Time for our next question, that is question number eight. Village Defense Guard scheme is implemented in which of the following state or union territory? And your options are Option A, Odisha. Option B, West Bengal. Option C, Jammu and Kashmir. Or is it the option D, that is Sikkim. Time for our next question. Udan, that is Ude Desh Ka Am Nagrik is a flagship scheme of which of the following union ministry? And your options are option A, Ministry of External Affairs, option B, Ministry of Civil Aviation, option C, Ministry of Electronics and IT. Or is it the option number four, 
Ministry of Home Affairs. Okay, guys, so that brings us to the last question of today's current affairs video. And question number 10 is, which of the following state launched a national mission to take to make India number one? And your options are option A, Tamil Nadu. Option B, New Delhi. Option C, Gujarat. Or is it the option D that is Karnataka? So guys, that's all about the questions of today's current affairs video related to the government schemes of our different, different states of India. So yes, I hope you guys have guessed the correct answers. And yes, if you are right or wrong uh, let's further share the answers with you guys so that you in you'll be in a position to know that so time for the answers and the correct answer for question number one is option b that is sdg india index dashboard and all of you all who have mentioned option b as the correct answer they are absolutely correct UN Deputy Secretary General Amina Mohammed recently commended India's efforts to localize the monitoring of progress in implementing the UN's Sustainable Development Goals, that is SDGs in short. Niti Aayog, India's think tank, has launched the SDG India Index Dashboard. It has localized SDGs with indicators and targets while monitoring framework at all levels of government. Next, we have the correct answer for question number two is option B, that is Pune. The National Health Authority, that is NHA in short, has commenced its first hackathon under the Ayushman Bharat Digital Mission Hackathon series at the Smart City Operations Center, Pune, in a hybrid format. The hackathon is being organized under the Ayushman Bharat Digital Mission, that is ABDM, in association with the Pune Municipal Corporation and Pune Smart City Development Corporation. The hackathon is focused at mobilizing the health startups in India to develop innovative solutions. Time for our next answer. And the correct answer for question number three is option B, New Delhi. The Delhi government celebrated Happiness Utsav, marking the fourth anniversary of its happiness curriculum for schools. During the Happiness Utsav, various activities will be organized for the next 15 days. The Aam Admi Party, the Aam Admi Party, that is AAP, Government had introduced the happiness curriculum back in the year 2018. Time for our next answer and the correct answer for question number four is option B, Tamil Nadu. Tamil Nadu is the first state to launch breakfast scheme for students of government schools. The state government issued an order to implement the first phase of the chief minister's breakfast scheme at 1,545 government primary schools. The scheme is set to benefit more than 1.14 lakh children in classes 
one to five across the state during the year 2022 to 2023 at a total cost of rupees 33.56 crores. Time for our next answer. And the correct answer for question number five is option D, that is universal immunization program. COVID is being repurposed for the universal immunization program that is UIP at present. Coven head and CEO of the National Health Authority, Dr. R.S. Sharma announced that the app will help in discovery of vaccination centers and reminders for subsequent vaccinations for preventable diseases for mothers and the newly borns. Time for our next answer and the correct answer for question number six is option B, Ministry of Commerce and Industry. Ministry of Commerce and Industry implements the one district, one product that is ODOP scheme. Recently, the Commerce and Industry Minister, Mr. Piyush Goyal, has launched the digital version of the One District, One Product, that is ODOP, gift catalog. The ODOP gift catalog includes a wide range of products like fragrances and oils, home decor products, Indian spirits, fabrics, among other products. Next, we have the correct answer for question number seven, and that is option B, Jammu and Kashmir. Parvaz, that is P-A-R-V-A-Z, was launched by the government to create market linkage support for shipment of agriculture and horticulture, perishables harvested in Jammu and Kashmir through air cargo. Under the scheme, 25% subsidy on freight charges is given for carrying perishable fruits harvested in Jammu and Kashmir. Next, we have the correct answer for question number eight is option C, Jammu and Kashmir again. Ministry of Home Affairs sanctioned approval for the creation of Village Defense Guard Scheme 2022 in Jammu and Kashmir. Earlier, this scheme was known as Village Defense Committee in which volunteers from villages were trained by Indian Army and Indian Police. Rifles were also provided to VDCs and they protected the vulnerable villages in mountainous areas from terror-related activities. Next, we have the correct answer for question number nine, that is option B, Ministry of Civil Aviation. Ministry of Civil Aviation's flagship program, Regional Connectivity Scheme, Uran, that is Ure Deshka Am Nagrik, has successfully completed five years. More than one crore passengers they have flown in the last five years. The scheme was launched in the year 2017 to provide an aviation infrastructure and air connectivity 
in tier 2 and tier 3 cities. As many as 141 airports were made operational from 74 to 141 back in the year 2014. And 425 new routes were initiated under this particular scheme commonly called Uran and the expansion stands for Ude Deshka Am Nagrik. Okay, guys, so that's all about the questions as well as the answers of today's current affairs video. Now it's time to share some of the abbreviations related to those uh, 10 questions and answers that we just shared with you. And yes, as I've told you earlier also multiple times that these abbreviations are of key importance with the perspective of your competitive exams, be it any of those government exams that you're preparing for. So please, please. Uh, make it a habit of learning and memorizing these abbreviations for the better understanding also and for your betterment in the daily preparation also. So at first today we have COVID and the full form stands at COVID Vaccine Intelligent Network. Number two, we have SDG and the full form of SDG is Sustainable Development Goals. At number three, we have UIDAI and the expansion of UIDAI is Unique Identification Authority of India. At number four, we have ABDM. And the full form of ABDM is Ayushman Bharat Digital Mission. At number 5, we have the NHA and the full form of NHA is National Health Authority. Next, at number 6, we have UIP and the full form is Universal Immunization Program. Next, at number 7, we have ODOP and the form of ODOP is One District, One Product. Next, at number 8, we have MSME and the expansion of MSME is Ministry of Micro, Small, and medium enterprises. Next, at number nine, we have Udan, and the full form is Ude Deshka Am Nagrik. Next, at number ten, we have AAP, that is A, and the full form is Am Admi Party. And the last abbreviation for today's video at number 11 we have okay guys so that's it for today's update on daily current affairs roundup related to the government schemes 
If you found this information useful and informative, please do subscribe to our channel for more such daily news updates. And also, don't forget to leave a comment below with your thoughts on today's stories. And also, if you have any news tips or stories that you would want us to cover on our channel, then feel free to leave them in the comment section. And we would see to it and we would definitely come up with a video on that particular topic that you want us to cover on our channel. So that's it. Thank you so much for your time. Thanks, thanks for watching. And we will definitely see you soon again tomorrow with more such current affairs news. Until then, let's keep learning, keep sharing and keep supporting each other and all the best to each and everybody of you all who is preparing for the competitive exams and working so hard on it. Thank you so much. Let's stand together on making each other going further forward.